Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Spartan. And I'm Pudgy. And today we are watching El Camino, a Breaking Bad movie. So we finished Breaking Bad, and this is the last little way to tie the knot and put a closure to Breaking Bad. Obviously, there's Better Call Saul as well, but for the Breaking Bad story in particular, this movie we've been told is sort of like an extra ending. It yeah. gives closure to a lot of things that maybe didn't get closure. And I, I like that because personally I, I felt that in the ending. I think I was saying like, I thought it was an awesome ending. At the same time, it was perfect ending for Walter, but I wanted to see more from a lot of the surrounding cast. Yeah, it, le it was left quite open-ended for a lot of the extra cast members, not so much Walter. And it was left to your imagination to kind of figure out what might have happened. And then is it five years later? They're like, gotcha, this is what actually happened. I think six. I think... Six years. Or seven. I can't remember. I think Breaking Bad ended in 2012, if I checked correctly. But this movie came out in 2019. So I, it, was, it was between five to seven years, but quite a big gap. So I could see Breaking Bad leaving you content, but at the same time, there'd be questions gnawing at my mind. Yeah. And now we have zero. We've avoided everything to do with this movie. We don't know anything about it. Don't know what's about, where it's based, what it's going to tell us. I wonder if we're going to get flashbacks in this because I feel like that could make everything like super strong. Mm, yeah. Yeah, it'd be nice to get some sentimentality. Maybe hear some discussion around Walter after his death. Oh, I just had a depressing moment. You think of Marie? No, I was like, with the flashbacks, I was like, oh, I wonder what Hank's doing. I was like, oh, fuck. Yeah. Yeah, so, like, I don't know what to expect from this, but things that come to mind is getting time to see what Marie's life is like now, mm -hmm. post-Hank, getting to see, obviously, Jesse's a big one. Like, yeah. how is he coping after that horrendous... Saul. To see where Saul's at. I know people will be like, hey, that's where Better Call Saul is. Yeah, I know, but this is, like, more the post. If there's something to do with Saul. Holly growing up. What does she know about uh, all of this? Yeah, it depends how many years later this is. Yeah. I don't know if it's meant to be years later or like six months later. I don't know. And obviously Skylar and Walt Jr. And just to see how all these characters are faring, what their lives look like now, how they're coping. So I don't know if we'll get to see all of them. I would like to, but we'll find out. But yeah, just to see how everyone's dealing with life post Heisenberg. Pretty much, yeah. Who are you most excited to see? Probably Jesse. Yeah. It's probably going to be Jesse. I think so too, because he was the closest connection with Walter. So he really did cop things firsthand a lot of the time. So I really want to see how he's dealing with it. But I also want him to not have that horrible life, you know? Yeah. Like he still got a chance. Walter was too far gone. Yeah. From where he was at. Whereas Jesse... I feel like could still potentially turn it around and, and live a decent life yeah. and put everything he's done behind him. But I don't know. Jesse always, always surprises me as well sometimes. So. I also want to see if Gretchen and Elliot give the money. I can't imagine that they wouldn't because they're scared out of their brains. But Well, again, it depends on timeline because they said Walter is 18th birthday. I don't know if how far yeah, forward this is. That's a, true. A lot, of what, a lot of what will happen will depend on how far forward this is. I feel like, oh yeah, but the 18th birthday was only like four months away, wasn't it? Was it? Was he 17? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, because he was driving. I remember him being 16. I couldn't remember yeah. being 17. Yeah, interesting. Unfortunately, a lot of the greats like Mike, Hank, Walter yeah. are not in this, which is fine. It'll still be a great Heisenberg movie. but to take them all out with him. Uh, it does leave a hole in the heart though, like that they're not, not here with us. And Gus, Kaffir yeah, Gus. Yeah, hopefully we can just, like, reminisce through this. When you think about it, dude, some great, great cast. Between my Gus, like, it's just a lot of great characters. Damn. Thank you to all of our Patreon supporters for supporting the channel. If you do want to get three to four weeks of early access to our edited and uncut reactions, we'll leave a link in the description down below. And if you guys are watching this over on YouTube, don't forget to leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and let us know in the comments down below what you thought of this movie. All right, let's get into it. Let's go. No, he's not going to be happy. No. I suspect he won't. That's Mike. Only you can decide what's best for you, Jesse. Not him, not me. Does he talk to Mike in his head?
No way. So what are you gonna do with all that money? Same thing I do with all the other money. How about you, teenage retiree? You'll be living the dream. I don't know, far out. So is this from back then, that a chat? If I were your age, starting fresh, Alaska It's the last frontier. Up there, you could be anything you want. Yeah, that's where he was going, remember? I love the cinematography. Put things right. No. Sorry, kid. That's the one thing you can never do. Damn. He just has to live with it forever. Mike knows from experience. Oh. Holy shit. That is a transition and a half. Wow. So peaceful to this. Wait, is this right when he got out? It looks like it, but his beard looks too long, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, it does look like time's pass. Holy shit, man. God damn, it threw us right in just like that, huh? No, this must be a different time. I ain't seen that car before. You're apexing too early. You're apexing too early. I'm apexing at the apex, bitch. Don't be telling me how to drive and shit. <laughs> These two. These two have leveled up. We've got nice chairs. I feel so bad for him. He's like paranoid to the max. Isn't it weird when he looked like his life was more together than these two? Now it's the opposite. Dude, lost? Surely he realizes who it is. Well, now on. he does. Jesse? Who is it? I gotta get that car off the street. Oh my goodness. I love how they're always helping him. Yeah, I know. They are loyal, my friends. But this is definitely not what I wanted for him. <laughs> Always leaving his mark. Where have you been, Jesse? What have you been doing? Damn, I'm still impressed that badge has a house and uh, skinny. As to where he could have obtained such a weapon or the so-called uh, remote control aspect of it, anything I could say at this point would just be conjecture and I'm not going to engage in that. Is this still like the Heisenberg case? Yeah, talking about the machine gun that he used. Yeah. Machine gun, not assault rifle. I, I read your comments, don't worry. <laughs> oh, the poor guy, man. Makes sense, he'd have PTSD. Oh shit, man. He's really, really suffering. Jesus. Wow, it makes sense, but god damn. Because he was in captivity for ages. My stuff's gonna fit you like a T, yo. Not like if you had to borrow it from Sasquatch over here. Can't help but that I'm <laughs> size for love. <laughs> size for love. <gasps> How's this working for you? Good? Jesse? Damn, they're actually good friends. They're really trying in their own way. They really keep you in a cage. Yeah. Damn. I didn't know. Yeah, that's pretty rough, dude. That would mess you up. Oh, oh is that how they used to shower him? God damn, dude, this is a tough movie. It really treated him worse than, oh, I can't even tell you what. Oh, he did shave in the end. Going back to his look. I gotta get out of here. Where to? You got a plan? 
So, I mean, he's going to start his life in Alaska. So, I was thinking... He's looking up that vacuum place. Hey, uh, Skinny. You got a burner you can give me? Fully charged and clean as a whistle. <laughs> Skinny's always prepared. First, I gotta get rid of that car. Oh, back to the car yard. Seeing some old friends. Thank you so much for doing this, Joe. It's about the money if we can make it. It's on the house. Oh, damn. Good kid. Wish they could do. He's one of the few people that sees the goodness in him. Yeah. All right, mind at ease. Think we're good. Whoa. What does that mean now? I don't get it. I don't get it. What's happening? Low Jack. The company just activated. Just this minute. Talk about training. Look, Johnny Law is on his way, as in here, as in now, so farewell. Do you know what this means? Well, I think they activated some sort of tracking device for his oh car. Oh my god, surely not. The manufacturers or something. Who's got the keys to that car? Keys! Fuck, poor man can't catch a break. It's gonna take us somewhere else now. Yo, what are you doing? We gotta get this thing out of here. Bent, give me the keys to your Fiero. Why? You take my car. I don't even like your car. It drives like a dick. Oh my god. Badger drives my T-Bird two, three hundred miles away and ditches it. Think you'll be heading to Mexico? No, not Mexico. Right on, even better. Leave it near the border. Hide it, kind of, but yo, don't hide it so good the cops can't find it. Wipe it down for prints and hitchhike back. Skinny's a good mate, dude. I'll tell him you drop by, the two of us smoked a fat bowl, traded pink slips, then you split. I always wanted me an El Camino. Oh. So the car is El Camino. Right. Of the confidence. You got any cash? Dude, they're good friends, man. I know. I don't think I realized how good till this movie. Skinny literally gives the whole law and Badger's like, oh, let me count it. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you doing all this? Dude, you're my hero and shit. Oh, <laughs> Damn. That's actually quite sweet, you know? The, oh, yeah. It's really sweet. Man just wanted a new car out of it. <laughs> oh, shit. Look Damn, at me. Damn, dude. Look how many cars they're taking. All heading his way, shit. Like, relax, yeah? Well, I mean, they just had the biggest drug bust in their entire yeah. city, so... Fair enough. I know, but that many... Cars for one person? Well, if they've related him to Gus, Mike, yeah. and then Walt White. Like, fair enough. Jesse? You awake? Todd is a weirdo, man. He's like polite about it. Just to like chain him up. Guy on the KOB keeps calling for rain. What do you think? Uh, I don't know. These random conversations. Like he gives a fuck. If you try to, you know, escape, I'm gonna have to visit the little boy. It'll basically be out of my hands at that point. Oh my God, man. Out of my hands, like he has no say in it. Gotta make sure you don't draw too much attention. Oh, yeah! Todd is a weirdo, dude. It's like it's his pet or something. How delusional were we thinking that it was gonna be better for everyone? Oh, we're just seeing the turn. Yeah, that, that's Todd's car that he drove. Pretty sure it was Todd's car, the one that he was driving. Yeah, right. So it must have been the car that he left with. I ain't seen that car before. 
Yeah, but see, yeah, I think it is. But see, Todd's going for a drive and stuff, so Jesse could escape, but he's not because of the boy. Good job. He really pets him like a pet. It's creepy. Oh, no. Texas authorities investigating the poisoning of a Houston woman are looking into her possible connection to Walter wow. White's criminal organization. The unnamed woman who is hospitalized in critical condition is not expected to survive. Good old Olivia. Ryson, eh? Good old Ryson. The Albuquerque school teacher who was the subject of a six-month international manhunt was found dead late Tuesday at the scene of a gang massacre which claimed the lives of nine people. Yes, yeah, so it is right after. Oh, he's headed back there. What was there? For Jesse to go back. Well, it's Todd's place. Could we stop something messed up? Yeah. Damn, the guy's getting closer and closer. Oh my god, he's just watering all the plants for all the neighbors. Yeah, there's a plant running to Jesse. Oh, the suspense is done perfect, dude. Surely he heard that noise. Yeah, but he'll doubt, but he heard. Flashback. It's quite trippy how they go with each transition. Oh shit! <sighs> what is it? Bombs. Is that body? Oh, on the table. That's not what they're looking at. at. Who is it? Oh my god. Are we meant to know who that is? Please don't, you know, make me feel worse than I already do. You should feel worse, honestly. <laughs> it's hot. I'm a cleaning lady, and honestly, I don't feel much like talking about it, so. Well, speak up, my friend. Speak up. Because if you're getting je. Look at the belt! Wow. What could she have possibly done? I think she found these grenades or something. She found something and then became a liability. Unroll it. Tell me he wants the belt. Tell me. Gonna need this. There's also, I think, clues that will lead to him, so. Oh, he's putting it back on. Holy shit. Sick man. Todd is sick. I'm telling you. It's like all those serial killers that you see on Netflix. What did she do to you? What? Oh, she didn't do anything to me. Man. Why? Why? Exactly why? Right there. That book if you want to know so bad. Jack taught me always keep my money close. So I have these old little book encyclopedias, the whole entire set. She found that and he killed her? So Jesse must be there for the money now. She found it and I can't have anybody finding it. She found it and that's it. She brought it straight in here to show me. She actually thought I didn't know it was there. I just, I, I wonder what the heck she was looking up. She, oh my God. Oh my God, so it was just a genuine scenario. Where are we gonna take her? Someplace pretty. She deserves that. Oh my God, she deserved to be alive. That's what she deserved. Oh my God, Tosh. She literally thought that he had no idea. That's your best case scenario. Was that how you can get some money? Are yeah, they all gonna have money? That's what I was saying. Or the, no, the police have ransacked the shit. Yeah. Guess I better come up with a new hiding place for my money. Oh, okay. Man, it would be right here. Um, nobody would ever find it. Nothing beats cash on hand. That's what Uncle Jack says. Go on, get that big brain thinking, Jesse. So he never actually told him, but 
I'm sure Jesse can figure it out. Especially after spending so much time with Walter. Spider's still in there. He's feeding it. Jesse has such the biggest heart. Yeah, he does. He made a lot of bad decisions, but he does have a big heart. Damn, the camera angles are sick. Yeah, the cinematography's definitely leveled up in this movie. Oh, yeah. I mean, I love the rawness in Breaking Bad, but yeah, this is the next level. Watch his parents. On the news, wow. Oh, shit. He's going to risk it and put the TV on. It's probably the worst thing you can do right now. Oh, no. Is there anything you wish you could say to your son right now? Please. Come forward. Too many people have, for your sake, for everybody's sake, son, turn yourself in. Oh my God. And it'll make me think twice. I get it. I mean, fuck. <sighs> Told you that was the last thing you should have done, Jesse. He's got to climb out. Oh. They're dropping the body. Oh my god. Look how Jesse has to do all the hard work. In the second story, dude. Oh, dude. Oh. Did, a, did a shoe fall up or something? Something. I'm feeling kind of lonely too, if you don't mind. He's getting pulled into it. He thinks him and Jesse having like a, like a mate's weekend hangout. He literally thinks that he's in a music video right now. He's <laughs> just like a kid, he's like Hong Kong. Oh my god. Tell me he's in the back with the body. Oh my god. Dude, this ain't living, dude. This ain't a life. He's actually sick in the head, like. There's no other words to describe Todd, really. His, his actor plays it real well. Didn't he say he was going to bury it somewhere nice? He's found the desert. I know, this ain't nice. So the way Todd killed her, Jesse killed Todd. Yeah, true. Well, he choked him with the chains, but yeah, similar. Yeah. You want to say a few words? He's like, you can't be serious. Nice lady. Excellent housekeeper. Is that it? Is that all you could come up with? Hey, grab another pack, would ya? There should be one in the glove box. Oh, he's always watering around. Did Todd leave a gun in the glove box? And Jesse, like, potentially sees his opportunity? Yeah. Heck, we find him? Yeah, we found it. That's when you should have done it, right then and there, Jesse. Right yeah, then and no, there. But, the, if, but if then Brock's in danger. Brock. Yeah. I'll take that, Jesse. Yeah, you'll take a bullet to the bloody head. Come on, dude. I'd, I know you won't do it, but it would have been so good. I know. Watching this, you hope the outcome changes. On the way home, I was going to get us some pizza. A couple of large pies. Maybe a six pack of beer? Yep, that's gonna fix everything. Jesse, what kind of pizza? Pepperoni. Pepperoni, sure. Classic, oh. I like that too. If not for Brock, he would've done it, man. My heart is breaking for him, man. You know, Uncle Jack says, life's what you make it. Is that it? Is that like, Uncle Jack says, insert quote. Yeah, like, it's funny because he's so innocent, genuinely, and so psychotic at the same time. I know. There is this innocent naivety where he lives in like a childlike state. So I'm telling you, serial killer, honestly. I mean, evidence is there. Come on, I believe in you, Jesse. Let's find this shit. Holy shit, it's torn this place apart. God damn. It has to be somewhere obvious. But where they won't look. 
On hand? Is it in the car? Well, he doesn't have the car anymore, so nah. He said in his apartment. Yeah. How frustrating knowing there's money there that could set your life up. All you gotta do is find it and then bounce. In his way, this is like a Walter's, let's make sure it's all worth it, you know? Well, he either goes to jail or he finds a way to get to Alaska. I think those are his two choices. Yeah. Someone come in. It's oh, in the something fell. Didn't he look in there? No, he found was a glove. Oh my god, it's like behind everything. In the door. Was he really that smart, Todd? Well, what the hell? Engineering shit. How the hell did he come up with that? Oh my god. There's no fucking way. The timing. He literally got like one little. Oh my god. Who the hell is that? Oh. Why? Tell me the nosy neighbor said something. Tell me. The bloody timing, man. Jesus. Just on that side of the counter, we're good. Hello. Oh, hey. You nosy bastard. I'm sorry, we're fresh out. case so i've done a little investigating myself I yeah yeah that's all right you've done all the yapping we need piss off now i'm not gonna lie i really want jesse to get the money like so do i yeah no crazy in this house perfectly normal that's meant to be like him and maybe lydia i don't know oh shit i'm no cop killer Be cool. Oh my god. Dude, the way Jesse just <laughs> that was sick. But then the cop's just gonna put in that he saw him, like it's fine, but and then he can't go back here. He can't come back to get the money. Call your partner in here. Casual, very casual. Do it. Hey Lieutenant. I feel like lieutenant was a sign. For sure they need like, yeah, yeah. When you're doing this kind of work, you need like that call. You like, this yeah, is Yeah, because he used his name before. And now he said, hey, lieutenant. That's waiting for me back there, Casey. Whoa, 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 whoa. Put your gun down. Relax. Damn. Everybody relax. He says he's not looking to kill any cops. So let's just, let's figure this out, all right? Yeah, put your cotton down, put it down, let him get his money and leave. You know how many officers we got downstairs? That's a lot. Yeah, I don't think there are any. Good six last I counted. Six my ass, I counted eight of them down there. A patrol car on all four corners, more up the street. He's good, he's fucking good. I'm hoping Jesse doesn't fall for it either though. Give up, Pinkman. It's your only chance. Oh, he's not gonna hand it back again. It was like handing his freedom away. He knows how he was treated. Oh. Nah, 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 nah. On your stomp. No. This well, ain't I get it. it. But doesn't what? Well, they're not arresting officers, you know. What are you doing? Shut up. Hey, how about some handcuffs, yo? Yeah, he realized. They're not meant to be here. You two aren't cops. You. Who the fuck are they? Oh my god! The one time he does the the good thing. 
Yeah, I was gonna say, it doesn't make sense. I know sometimes they come back to search through, but... Come on, Jesse, get out of this, come on. I know where the money is. They want the money as well, I think. That's what you're here for, right? You picked up a couple of windbreakers at the Army Navy store, came strolling in, all clever as shit. It makes sense. No more cards. It's a nosy neighbor. You stupid old man, dude. Got no idea. Show me the money. I let you go. Dreamer. Hey, what do you say? Huh? Seems pretty fair to me. Not really. It's not even the money you worked for. Who the hell are you? Yeah, I don't know. Nah, what are you doing, Jesse? Came all this way to get the money and now he's gonna give it away? No way, dude. Jesse, no. Come on. Shit. Nah, you gotta get rid of these guys. Hey, if I were you, I'd walk the hell out of here right now. Jesse ain't playing. This guy's no idea who's talking to He knows if he goes down, they go down. I'll shoot you, you son of a bitch. He ain't scared. Do it. You pull that trigger, and you are gonna have to kill that loudmouth down the hall and every other witness in the place. Yeah, Jesse. <laughs> Completely upplayed. What's it gonna be? Go on, do it. Now fuck off. Yeah, it's true. Right now, this is the best case scenario. If it wasn't for him, you wouldn't be having any money. How did they even find out about it? That's what I want to know. Tony's unlucky. Jesse would have had more than enough. But they reckon it's a mill, three-way split. It's enough for Jesse to pay that guy to yeah. get to Alaska. But then live off what, you know? Just have we to should have another couple hundred K and then, yeah, normal job. It's funny how these guys are somehow sort of semi-teamed up now. I know. Just at least put a hood on or something. I'm nervous that one person's gonna recognize him or something. Welding? Like, who the hell are you? What? What was that? What memory was that? Maybe one we haven't seen before. I don't know. Maybe the one that made the cage. I don't, I have no idea. Nah, can't leave. He can't leave. What's he gonna do now? Kill him in broad daylight? But yeah, maybe he's the one that made the cage. That's where he differs from Walter. Walter couldn't let that go. Yeah, I know. I'm not gonna lie. I wouldn't mind Walter coming in now and just destroying I know, him. I know. Oh, he's trying all the cleaning shops till he finds the one. It's dedication, man. Imagine he goes to the same place as Saul. Oh, because didn't Saul go to Alaska? I think so. That'd be funny. Yeah, he recognizes that van. Okay, this is it. Um, I'm looking for a uh, Hoover Max. Pressure Max, Max Pressure. <laughs> he can't remember. Ooh, products are right over there on the wall. Oh, Look, I don't remember the exact like password. All right, but it was a vacuum thing. Oh, he missed his one chance, remember? Mm hmm. 24, 25. There you go. He's giving him all of it? No, 25. Come on, man. You know why I'm here. I can't say I do, no. Yeah, you do. He's very good at keeping a cool. I didn't go with you that day, and I'm sorry. Look, you will never know how sorry, but I am here now. Yeah, I believe that. Come on, man, just take him on. You owe me for that first pickup. Yes! Oh, you're the guy! 
This. You got so excited. Is previously owed. Oh, no way. Would require an additional 125. No, but that's all he had, wasn't it? No, but it's a good portion of it. Four. Eight. Alright, there's gonna be anything left. I think a third of a mil will be like 330. So you'll have like a hundred left, or maybe. Or well, depends how much you talk. 22. Nah. Oh, he's short. That, that was much in Badger and stuff. Oh no. By my arithmetic, you're 10,000 shy. No. Where the hell's he gonna get 10,000? Surely this guy can just like. Is the money that Badger and stuff a skinny gave him? Yeah, I borrowed it. Does that mean he's accepting it? Yeah, he'd be an idiot to turn down 250k. I'm gathering. Your belongings. No, 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 stop. I'm not gonna try to collect what you owe me. What the hell? Why would he put him through all that just to conclude that? You are going to jack me up over a measly 1800. Literally, it's 1800, so I don't get. Ugh. I get the risk, but 1800? Look, I don't even know what month it is. They made me watch when they. When they shot someone, if you I believe that you can pull on people's heartstrings, you should take your chances with the police. Oh, damn. From where I sit, you made your own luck, as did your former partner. I mean, there's truth to that as well. Shit. I am not going anywhere. I am staying right here until you help me. Where do we go from here? No way. What are you doing? I have a feeling he might, but will he go through with it? There's a young man in my store and he refuses to leave. Hey, stop. I... Yeah, he might be armed. Stop. No way. Damn, I really thought this would come in clutch. You didn't call anybody just now. You faked it. And you want to know how I know? You got as much to lose as I do. More. Way more. When your cops get here and they bust me, first question they're going to ask is, what am I doing here trying to hand over a hefty bag full of cash mm. to a dude who runs a vacuum cleaner store? Jesse, Jesse. That's going to play. I hope he is bluffing. <laughs> you don't just hang up on a 911 call. They won't let you. Because the lady or dude or whoever is like, stay, stay in the, the line, line. Sir. Stay in the line. Jess has got it too good. Experience helps. If only it helped the first time around, take the money. Pathetic. Wow, you gotta love that response time. Oh my god, I actually thought Jesse was killing him. Holy shit. Wolf ball on Jesse's side and yes, yes, you're wrong. I had this small inkling, but fuck. I was believing Jesse more and more. Can you describe him? Uh, sure I can. He was uh, young. Uh, he's white, skinny. Very tall guy. 6'5", six, 6'6". Six, six. Okay. okay, so it's covering for him. All right. So he lives by his coat. He's no rat, but he wasn't bluffing. Damn. I mean, Jesse was right. It doesn't really help him if, you know... He describes Jesse. Your word is your bond. It is. I'll get you your money. Okay. All right. How's Jesse going to get the money? Damn it, man. Really? For 1800? That's what we're talking I about? Know, that just seems stupid. Like, he's so close. So damn close. Oh. <gasps> Tell me he's coming back home to get the damn money. Don't go back home, Jesse. Not to these two snakes. That's all they're good for, snaking people out. <laughs> <laughs> Am I wrong? Look, I agree because we love Jesse, but I can already hear the comments being like, 
Jesse. But you're screwing the snakes. It's Jesse. <laughs> oh, now you want to talk to him. You think you guys could come get me, maybe? <sighs> yes. Oh, he's going to get out of the house. I don't know if it'll mean much to you. But you did your best. And whatever happened with me, it's on me. Okay? Damn, man. Oh, Jesse. Oh, Jesse. Are we going to get him out of the house and then get their money while they're gone? Maybe. So that was his goodbye. He's still thinking about everyone else, you know? Even, even though... His parents did put their pain on him too. I mean, it goes both ways, but... Yeah, yeah, they played their role. Like, he just needed someone to not give up on him. It's kind of cool. Like, I always saw Jesse as, like, a, a bit of a boy, a young boy next to Walter, but now he's really a man. Yeah. He's really doing things himself. If Walter had met this Jesse from day one, I think they would have had a very different success. For sure. Well, Walter just wouldn't have been able to push him around. Not as much, anyways. Even in something small like that, it's just the thoughtfulness, you know? <laughs> Too predictable. Tell me there's no money in there. Oh, sh oh, shit. Tell me, was that for when Jesse came? Well, maybe because I was scared of the people Jesse was hanging around. I don't know. Far out. That's pretty confronting. Oh, he's going to... Oh. And he'll get the rest of his money. Shit. Since he knows they're also part of it. Close some loose ends. But I'm assuming there wasn't any money in that... Uh... In that vault. That vault, what's it called? Yeah, yeah. Safe or something. Safe. All right. Done. Well, shit, you're done. I've been here 20 minutes. What'd you do? Oh, he's the one that set up that whole um, cooking set up. Yeah, okay. I told you I built this thing right. <laughs> Bro, I'm not like impugning on your precious welding skills. It's just we have a uh, unique situation here. Yeah, very unique. Oh my god. You just got in there like a blah. Oh, I can't stand it. 50 bucks says he breaks this thing right here, right now. 50 plus. Then you gotta put up more of those, uh, what you call them, gussets? No charge. So he doesn't break it, I'm assuming. No. Nah. Or he does, and then they just make it extra. Oh, extra strong. And that would hurt too. Treating him like a freaking dog. God damn. You get winded. Who's this guy anyway? What do you do? Uh, it's, it's been a, a long story. Yeah. He's a rat. Oh, dude. So he didn't even know at that point. Yeah, no, that guy can fuck off. Jesse, time to put a bullet in his head. This guy's in his own world. <laughs> oh, boy. So this guy's the one that did it, isn't he? Mm hmm. Is he going to ask for all of it or just the 18? Oh, this is interesting. Didn't expect this. That three-way split didn't quite cover it for me. I'd appreciate you helping me out. Well, what's he talking about? Three-way split? You mean there was a third more? Mate, don't worry about it, okay? All I need is 1800 I'm asking okay. as a, a favor. Favor for all the bullshit you put him through. He's actually being pretty fair to be... He's asking for the minimum. What is that? Let me see that thing, show me. Oh my God, is that a 22? You brought a 22? 
He's showing one. He's got one hidden. 1800. I'm gone forever. Quite literally. Neil, I swear to God, if you give this piece of shit one more dump. Oh, shit. Sit down, boy. What do you say? No. No. You're 22. Against my nope. 45. No. You're doing gun versus gun. No. Like the Wild West? Yeah. Like the Wild West. He's actually a psycho. That was the foreshadowing. He's a betting man. He loves the, the, the gamble, you know? And the backstory. Come on, Jesse, you got this. Has he got the other one in his pocket? He's gonna have a Mexican standoff. Pretty much. Jesse's got the other gun in his pocket, I reckon. Oh, because he had his hand in the pocket. The gun was already there. That's oh, smart. Jesse was. <gasps> no, 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 no. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, oh. dude. Jesse has balls of steel, man. His lo this is his life. He's depending on it right now. Yeah. But Jesse just faced those bullets head and on. And now there's witnesses. Realizes. Driver's license, do it! All over 1800, huh? They could have all lived. Sean. Kyle. Colin. I know where you live. You tell the cops about me, and I am coming for every okay. goddamn one of you. It's He's smart. smart. It's fate, yeah. Dude, you're on fire. You're on fire. <laughs> oh, shit. Because he shot through his uh, pocket. That's pretty cool. Yeah, well, to be fair, try to be genuine. Yeah. Is he going to take all of it now? I mean, he might as well, hey? 100%. He'd be stupid not to. Oh, okay, Heisenberg style. Oh, shit. No evidence. Damn. Heisenberg 2.0. That's one way to do it. Holy shit. He's really learned a lot, hasn't he? Yeah, wow. Jesse's... Oh, my God. Yeah? Well, do you miss me? Who was he talking to? Oh, this is back then. Oh shit, it's weird to say Volta. Damn, yeah. <laughs> I was shocked for a second. I was like, what the hell? Oh, this is before that day we saw them eating. Wow. This they is still had the RV right then. at the start. Holy shit. Oh man. So was he talking to Jane then? Probably. Oh wow. These transitions are something else. Leave the picture, will you? Sorry, I can't really do that. Wait, wait, wait. Sure you can. <laughs> the confidence. <laughs> oh, he's probably got a bit of money now. Imagine this guy now in the future thinking, oh my god, I met these two. Gotta eat, gotta hydrate, get those electrolytes you're talking about, your sodium, you know, yeah. all that shit, yeah. Damn, hmm? so it's nice seeing him like this, but it was simpler. How long will it take to sell this batch? Six months. Easy, maybe more. There's no one that you can think of who might buy the entire amount. Uh, someone with a spare one point three million dollars lying around? No, can't say that I do. How times change, eh? Even Walter's demeanor here is just more innocent. Their family is. Or just desperate. They got coming to him, Mr. White. No matter how long it takes. Damn, did you hear that? So he was genuine. Yeah. A couple of, uh, that pisses me off than how Walter treats him in the end. What about you, Jesse? Hmm? Ah, after this. What then? Hmm. What about college? 
No, what is stopping you from going to college? You. <laughs> this is a throwback. Business and marketing. You could practically teach that class. Well, yeah. I mean, you'd be a natural. Do you think that's what he'll do in his new life? Go to college, maybe. What do I need a GED for? I got my diploma. Oh. Oh, of course. Yeah, right, 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 right. right. Yo, you were standing right on stage when they handed it to oh, me. No, I just slipped my mind. <laughs> <laughs> I totally graduated high school, dick. Which is like, no thanks Stay to on you. the subject All here. Right? I didn't know he finished high school. I didn't think either. You're really lucky, you know that? Really? I wonder why, from his point of view. You didn't have to wait your whole life to do something special. Yes, yeah, so that's that regret in him that drove him to go mad. Yeah. I really liked that interaction. That was nice. I miss the interactions, you know, toward the end, it just got terrible, too complicated. That too... was the season one, two and three interactions that were like more yeah. sincere. That we thought were sincere anyways. But I still think they are. Even after seeing At least partially, like Walter wasn't fully gone by that point. No. But he was gradually He was definitely to... split. There were two parts of him, but yeah, man. This is Alaska. This is Alaska. Damn, so actually made it. It's quiet. Yeah. Yeah. Figured you could use some of that. It'd be nice after all that chaos. Your father's second to the last job. Claims adjuster, Dairyland Insurance, Appleton, Wisconsin. What's your social security number? 141186941. Damn, you gotta be very far out with everything. Anything else? No fingerprints. What do you write him? Maybe a note for his parents. Anyone else you want to say goodbye to? Do you reckon that was his brother maybe that he said goodbye to? True. Good luck, Mr. Disco. Damn. How lonely. It's a new life with, with no one else. I know. It's not like he really had anyone else. I guess besides Badger and Skinny, but still. Yeah. Brock. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I forgot about Brock. I wonder what he wrote. Damn, till the end, huh? I was thinking about that thing you said about the universe. Going where the universe takes you. She did say Alaska at some point. Or he did. I've gone where the universe takes me my whole life. It's better to make those decisions for yourself. Mm. Oh, shit. smiling and just like that breaking bad is officially complete wow damn i actually I, I really enjoyed it i thought it was a real nice way to give much needed closure to jesse's story yeah honestly i thought i don't know i just wasn't expecting that i Neither. thought we were gonna explore much more correct yeah but like you said i really did enjoy it it was interesting to see the ins and outs and how capable he is now and the things that he has learned from you know sometimes it did backfire still and that just means he's not as calculated as everyone out of walter yeah um but he's really reflecting on his life and like Mark said at the start, which I was not, I was in shock when we first saw that, that yeah. scene, but we'll get into that. That was beautiful. Beautiful to start with that scene like that. Yeah. But like Mark said, it's not something that you can fix. You just got to live with it and move on. Like it's still a part of you. And those flashbacks, I feel like is a representation of that, that, that being part of him always. Yeah. 
Yeah, look, I think that it was an excellent closure to Jesse's story and yeah. definitely very needed going off the final episode of Breaking Bad that Jesse's, you know, needed a lot more to close his story up. So this did that, I'd say, almost perfectly. I won't say perfect, but I'll say almost perfectly. I'm still left with a bit more desire, though. I, I Those things we mentioned in the beginning where yeah. we wanted to see more closure on some of the surrounding cast, I think even if a half an hour segment, I, I, I would have wanted some of that. I know Breaking Bad, maybe it's that it, it's strength that it just leaves you. Yeah. Like you sort of, in one way, it's like, well, you know where they're sort of heading, right? You know, well, okay, you know, Skylar and the kids and Maria are going to have to mourn and get on with life. Yeah. But you need to hear some dialogues and some grieving and just to see the little day in the life moment. Yeah. But also because like, Walt Jr. believed that Walter killed Hank. So did Skylar ever clear that up? Does Holly know about her father? Like, just those little things. Well, Holly's still an infant at this point because this movie did come directly after. Yes, yes, of course. More so just in the future. Yeah, yeah. And for Walt Jr., you keep saying that. Um, I don't think... I don't know 100%, but I'm, I think in the end when he's like, you killed Hank, it was like your involvement killed Hank. Like, you were a part of it. I don't know if it was fully stuck no, and he thought he I, killed... I think because at the time... Walter, remember that phone call with the police? Walter said, you know, this is where Hank is. And they were left thinking that that happened. And then the only time that it was fully cleared up was when he said goodbye to Skylar. Yeah, okay. So... Well, you can assume that Skylar could pass on the message. So, yeah. But yeah, so that's not, that's not to take away from this movie because no. the movie was great. It's just that I... I'm still left wanting those things. We were expecting something a little bit different. That yeah. I, I don't know why we had those expectations, but we just did, I guess, once from the finale. Yeah, well, I guess when you when you hear a, there's a movie after the series, you na naturally think of all the things you want to close your on. Yeah. However, yes. on to Jesse's story. Yes. From start to finish, it was near perfect, starting with Mike, having backstories with Jane, backstories with Walter. Yeah. Also him sort of tra tracing back the... PTSD of what he went through the last six months, which we didn't get too much of an insight no. into. So this movie gave us some of that insight into what he went through. And, and, while just staying true to that Breaking Bad story writing, showing us just how far Jesse has come as a, as a character. Mm. Even the way he talks is very different now. You know, he used to use a lot more slang and just a bit more blase about things. But now he was he's also very... like quite chirpy in his own way. Like, yeah, bit like, you know, he was... In the original, yeah. Yeah, at the was... start, yeah. Whereas now he's just like, I've seen some shit, I've done some shit. Like, I'm just this almost like monotoned hurt guy right now. He really went from a boy to a man in the span of Breaking Bad. Yeah, for sure. For sure. And that's a year. Well, maybe just over it. Two yeah, years. Yeah, true. It was only about like almost a couple year yeah. period, but he matured a lot. That's crazy. Two years, everyone's life. Like, Gus. Bloody um, Teal, like everyone, everyone, everyone. Yeah, I know. Everyone's life changed with uh, Walter getting into it. He was the catalyst for that change. Yeah. He even got to say a bit of a goodbye to his parents and write a letter that I guess we'll never get to find out, but a letter to Brock. Yeah. wonder what it was said. But yeah, the old man at the end did seem a bit, he was sort of like, like, you know, he seemed, just seemed like he was like, wow. That, that was, even for his whole yeah. game, he's like, that's, I'll, I'll make sure this gets to him. I understand it from a story writing perspective so that Jesse can close up a couple more things, but really, I get the risk involved from the vacuum guy. I can't remember his name, but 1800. Like... Yeah, I, know. That, that's, I guess that just shows that he's a very much a man of principle. Yeah. But yeah, it is a bit like, I, and also I guess it gives story because Jesse had yeah. an excuse to go hunt down those guys. Yeah. But yeah, it is unique. Like for eighteen hundred, you've got double what you normally charge, and yeah, <laughs> crazy, crazy. Now, Mike at the start. I love Mike. He's definitely one of my top three characters, and yeah, it was just so good seeing him. I just love him. It was so like peaceful. I'm thinking, is that the lake? Lake where yeah. he died. In I, the I end? was going to say that um, in the opening, but yeah, I think I was just shocked in the opening. Like I don't know if you guys can tell. Like I was just like. What is going on? Like, yeah, yeah. I, I'm pretty sure that's the lake because it looked like that's the area where he meets Walter later on. He's obviously, does. a lot of these spots. And, yeah. so, and so that's probably why Jesse knew that Walter killed him because he's seen Mike. He knew he was okay. So then, to just the way he went out. Yeah. 
Damn. It was really beautiful just seeing him there and... Yeah, at first we thought it was him speaking to him right then and there, but yeah, it was a flashback. And it's it's nice that we did see a lot of interactions, but obviously we we didn't see a lot as well. So just filling in small gaps like that, it just makes the world feel so much more alive at that point in time. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, almost everyone was pretty, well, very believable. They looked enough of the part. Only Todd had gained a few kegs and it was very noticeable. Poor Todd. Like, yeah, with Todd, I was like... I feel it. I get it. It was just it was just very subtly changing that uh, immersion because it's like, well, this might happen a, a right. day later, but yeah. it looks, you know, a bit different. But I get yeah. it. But other than him, Badger looked like he'd aged a bit older, but not in a bad way. But other than him, everyone pretty much was able Badger to... Badger was skinny. No, skinny looked like skinny. Okay. But ba Badger, no, skinny always looked sort of flat, yeah. you know. Um, <laughs> but... Badger looked. I could just tell he'd like he'd grown a bit. He'd in a you know more of a man than that yeah. that boyish yeah, look that he had. Because yeah. this movie's obviously you know six or so yeah. years after, so that they've all aged a bit. Yeah. Now, um, just for clarification, I'm trying to remember. I'm I'm pretty sure when Jane and Jesse were trying to get out, was Alaska one of them? And I'm then. Not sure. I think, I think you nailed it with the New Zealand part. Yeah, I remember that. But I remember Jesse saying potentially Alaska. But then, obviously, then Mike said Alaska later on. So, yeah. I, I'm just trying to remember if... I feel like I'm hearing Alaska everywhere now. So, it's a bit confusing. Yeah, because where did Saul go? It was either, like, That's Nebraska or Alaska or... No, nah, it wasn't Nebraska. I was sort of wondering. So, I really thought Saul went to Alaska. And I was hoping... They didn't that, meet up. Well, I was hoping Jesse would be, like, at a bar somewhere. Yeah. And would turn to Ryan and Saul would be there. Like, just... Yeah. Just one friend, you know. Because I know it's a fresh start for Jesse. I also feel a bit sad. Because I'm like, at least in his own way, when he had Walter, Mike, and Badger, Skinny. Like, they're not perfect. But he had some people who knew him. Who knew he existed. Who yeah. would check up on him. And now, like, no one here knows yeah. he exists. Well, this is a fresh start for him. He can make those friends and, you know, make an honest living. And hopefully he does, like, go to, I mean, whatever, uni, who cares. But he just does something good with his life, you know? Yeah, yeah. And he has half a mil now, so that will keep him afloat for a while. Yeah. So he's got all that. Yeah. I wonder what he he decides to do like oh like i think that's why it's good like left open-ended and you've got all those flashbacks like what would you do in this scenario blah blah, blah. like let's say in walter's example but i almost want to like dream about like what jesse jesse's life might Could be do, like yeah. yeah you guys should let us know in the comments what you've thought if you've had any theories or what you wondered at the time that jesse would do following this how his life will turn out what he might end up doing what do you think would suit him do you think he'd have a family do you think he'd i don't know like would he teach i feel like he's good with children yeah that's a running theme he was always good with kids yeah so he could teach he didn't have the best life with girlfriends no yeah but that that was a lot of what he was doing wasn't it as well oh, yeah. yeah literally both of them ended up dying that's pretty rough that is so rough. I think the first thing Jesse will need, man, is to just honestly just sit in the bath with a drink and just relax for the first time. Being on the run that long, the last two years would have been absolutely hell. Holy shit. How free would he feel now? I mean, there's probably still that element of like feeling trapped. Yeah. Because you really can't be you now. Like on a day to day, I feel like everyone feels like, oh shit, can't really fully be me. But this guy can't be him at all. Like, at all. He's on the TV. He's on the news everywhere. Yeah. It's quite sad. I mean, it's it's a bittersweet, which suits Breaking Bad, doesn't it? What did you think of Jesse's parents? Like, obviously saying, you know, you should turn yourself in and whatnot. Yeah, I mean, it's first why I laughed before when you did the reaction. Because, like, I agree. I'm sort of like, ah, snakes, like, sell out <laughs> because I like Jesse. But, I mean, I guess it's fair enough from their point of view, from... From yeah. their parents, their sons have gone off the rails. Yeah. We obviously have a soft spot for Jesse. We follow his journey and, and we like him. But, I mean, fair enough. Like, they're, what more could I expect from his parents, I guess? Yeah. They don't know what else to do. They're, they're completely at a loss. He played them with the house and, you know, they're still talking to him. They haven't cut communication. But, in fairness to them, by the time he got involved with Gus, Mike, Walter, well, of course, they don't want to be associated them with all that danger and hmm. I took the having the two guns in the safe as they started to get fearful that 
Jesse's wrongdoings might come back to their house, so they had to start protecting themselves. Well, even Jesse was like, so what you're, the hell? so you don't think that it was they thought that Jesse would come. You thought it would be like someone associated to get. It could be Jesse, but do I think they were going to shoot their son? No. Yeah. But did they want some form of self defense? Yes. Yeah. I don't think I don't think they'll be there particularly to shoot Jesse. They knew Jesse wouldn't yeah. hurt them, but would he potentially be in the wrong crowd? Yes. Yeah. It would be nice as well to see Jesse's brother. Just see where he's at. Obviously, he was struggling, you know. I mean, it could have been nice, but again, he was like a one episode thing as yeah. well. So he wasn't really that important to it. Yeah. Uh, it's interesting because a lot of characters that along the way that you meet and you think they're going to be much bigger parts of the story, you're like, okay, we're going to get to see them yeah. a lot. And you're really just very, very small. Like, like Elliot and Gretchen. I really thought they were going to be, I, again, we still don't have an answer on Walter's official yeah. wrongdoing, an official answer. Um, other than, you know, people in the comments that will give us their reasonings. But... That's another thing I thought we maybe would have covered. Yeah, well, I thought if we saw more of Skylar and Co, that we would look at other elements, but it was really like a, yeah. a Jesse story. Because really, it... Skylar's not dumb, especially toward the end. He, she knew, oh, like, you were in the car with Saul, like, I know what's going on kind of thing. And... If they just got like this random donation, she she knows that Walter wouldn't have let up, you know. So that would have also been nice to see. But yeah, the two best scenes or backstory, I should say, that I think really stood out to me. No surprise, is obviously the Mike and the Walter, and it was just I think showing two different parts of Jesse. I really yeah. liked with the Walter. That looks like a season two period, roughly early season two, I think, uh, and. Yeah, just talking about their future. Jesse's still very boisterous and energetic, and you know, you just see that bit of innocence still in him. Is yeah. still still more optimistic, not yet beaten down by all the experiences that are that are to come. Is it a funny Walter was more beaten down back then? Yes, that they really reversed because mm -hmm. then, yeah, Walter was really I forgot how sort of dead he was around Jesse yeah. because then as he got a lot more gusto and confidence, he'd be calling all the shots and planning and. So anyway, just seeing that side of Jesse and then seeing the other side with Mike, which is like, I'm out, you know? And that's almost like, damn, like that that would have been the perfect moment where he still could have moved on with his life relatively unscathed. Better he didn't know about Jane and he didn't hate Walter. He just, you know, he didn't like, it was almost not nicer that he could have left going, you know what, that was a part of my life. We did yeah. some shit. We got out, I move on. But in saying that, maybe he needed, because Jesse obviously has a, bad habit of getting himself back into these situations, maybe he needed to really reach rock bottom to go and yeah. never want to revisit that life again. Yeah, I think you're on the money with that one as well. Like, I feel like he was pretty done at that point as well, just with all the kids and all the people that he hurt and that was a byproduct of their shit, really. But, yeah, I think, like, he was pretty much at the bottom, but, you know, when you, you're like, I don't know, there's one more step. That, that's where he is now. And yeah, I just really hope that he does something good with that now. He doesn't fall back into the shit where we found him, you know, trying to cook beforehand with, was a crazy eight. Yeah, oh, dude, that's, yeah, that's a throwback. I know. <laughs> well, guys, I think that officially concludes our Breaking Bad journey. We obviously still have Better Call Saul at some point to get to, but... Yeah, wow. Well, I don't know. I'm sort of lost for words. I know. It was almost a uh, bittersweet finishing the finale. I still knew that we had this to come. So I'm like, oh. The it's not really not... done. Yeah, the world's not closed. And even Better Call Saul, I've heard good things, but it's different because it's not going to be around Walter and Jesse, which for me is still the central connection point to this world. Yeah. And so that degree, that Breaking Bad story is finished once and for all. It kind of feels weird because it's been a massive journey with you guys and we've loved every minute of it. Massive. Yeah, I ended up enjoying this journey a lot more than I thought it was. It was a very different setting overall to Game of Thrones and I usually don't watch the, these kind of settings. I love my warriors, medieval fantasy, that kind of stuff more. So I didn't know how it would go going into this. However, yeah, at the end, I'm definitely left wanting more and I'm left thinking about the world. I'm left wanting more from this world. And yeah. I'm personally surprised that Breaking Bad won me over in the end. So it did a great job and it was a very memorable journey. Guys, if you enjoyed our final reaction to Breaking Bad, don't forget to leave a like on the video. Subscribe for many more shows, series, movies that we're going to cover on the channel. And let us know in the comments down below what you thought of this movie, what you thought of the series as a whole, and were you left wanting anything more from the series? 
following this conclusion. And if you do want to get early access to our edited or uncut reactions, then check out our Patreon and the link in our description. Take care of yourselves and we'll see you guys soon on one of our next reactions. See you guys.